so I'm going to tone my paper with some powdered charcoal. Um, if you don't have powdered charcoal, you can use stick charcoal and your vine charcoal, also Bob's um, vine, uh, vine charcoal is good as well if you have any of these thick uh, pieces of vine. These are actually really, really cool and relatively cheap to buy. I know you can order them online. Just want to make sure that you're not using compressed charcoal because you're not going to be able to erase that very well at all. And so it's not ideal for subtractive. So um, this stuff, last time I checked you couldn't really buy it online, but maybe you can now. I don't know why, but I always found it kind of fun to show you guys how to do this. So. I just kind of smeared around. I have a brush that's specific to charcoal. <laughs> I also have a brush for graphite. I have actually two brushes for charcoal and I don't know, maybe eventually I'll get more, but really don't need a lot. This stuff gets everywhere and my husband hates it being in the house, so don't tell him. <laughs> So even just now, I've breathed quite a bit of it in. Um, and then you just kind of want to brush the excess away. Excess. <laughs> brush the excess away. But what's cool about this powdered charcoal is it kind of gives us this uh, wispy kind of a texture or what you know like wispy look so I kind of rubbed it in and now I'm just kind of brushing the ex excess away <laughs> all right and then we can get started